Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Martin, and welcome back. Today I have another exotic weapon for you guys. This video we're looking at Merciless, and this weapon definitely lives up to its name. So, this is a fusion rifle, meaning it goes in your power weapon slot, and I reckon this might be one of those weapons you're going to want to have before the raid drops on Wednesday, just in case, because this fusion rifle melts bosses. Unfortunately, Destiny hates me when it comes to getting exotics, but thankfully my good friend and fellow peasant, Jumpin' Jack Rocks, was lucky enough to get this weapon, so big thanks to him for allowing me to use this account for this video. So, taking a look at the perks here, firstly we have Conserve Momentum. Non-lethal hits with projectiles make this weapon charge faster until its wielder gets a kill. Then we have Chambered Compensator, increases stability, moderately controls recoil, slightly decreases handling speed. Then we have Extended Mag, greatly increases magazine size, greatly decreases reload speed. And next we have the other exotic perk, Impetus, reloading immediately after a kill increases weapon damage for a short time. And then lastly here we have Fitted Stock, increases stability, moderately controls recoil, slightly decreases handling speed. So, why does this thing melt bosses? Now, what that first exotic perk means is that, say if you're fighting a boss or an enemy with a lot of health, as you do damage to them without actually killing them, the charge time on Merciless actually decreases to the point that its charge is almost non-existent. As you can see in this gameplay, I can unload the full clip into this boss, it has 8 shots in the magazine, and as I get to the final few shots of this weapon, it fires almost instantaneously. It's almost like it isn't even a fusion rifle. Then due to the second exotic perk, if I kill an enemy on the final shot, then reload, the weapon's damage will be increased for a short time, and you can continue to do even more damage with the next magazine. It's actually kind of ridiculous, seeing how much damage Merciless does. When I first picked this up, I was like, no way this thing, no way is this going to be as good as I think it's going to be, but it really is. It's so much better. I feel like it might be important for you and your fire teams to have this weapon just in case for the raid. Obviously, we don't know yet exactly what this raid will entail, but typically there's been a trend of needing some kind of weapon in particular that can do a ton of DPS and Merciless might just be that weapon, so it might be worth grinding for this just in case. If not, well, then at least you'll still have a monstrous fusion rifle to use in every other PvE activity. Against small, low-level enemies, Merciless isn't really anything too special. It does what pretty much any other fusion rifle could do, and the same applies to the Crucible. I did notice in PvE that it was more accurate than usual, but maybe that's just because I haven't used many fusion rifles in PvE. Either way, it doesn't matter too much because I doubt you'll be using this weapon on smaller targets anyway. Where it really shines is against bosses. It seriously makes such easy work of anything that would otherwise be a massive bullet sponge. Now, in case any of you are wondering, how do you get this weapon? Well, as usual, like most exotics in Destiny, it randomly drops from an exotic engram. So, good luck if you haven't picked this up yet. Merciless also has an ornament available that can be applied to change its appearance called Break the Dawn, which just changes its colour from blue to white. Personally, I think I prefer it without the ornament, just because it looks a little bit bland in just white. Anyway, this has been a look at the rightfully named Merciless Exotic Fusion Rifle. As always, I do hope that you enjoyed the video and found it informative. I want to thank you all for the support recently on videos. Your positive ratings are greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.